Are you ready? Uh, I think I'm ready. Are you ready? Our guest on the couch today is Lifesavers Mints. Bag of mints. If you ever wanted to consume 20,000 calories of mints, grab a Lifesavers. One mint, 15 calories. I'm pretty sure I consumed roughly 52 mints yesterday. Your entire daily caloric intake was yeah. mints. Yeah. There's 405 servings per container. Fun fact. Times fifty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so chatting. Let's let's just talk a little bit about yesterday. So this is what day three of the World Championships. Day one was that mixed relay. Yesterday, super awesome day. Yeah. Fast course. I think one thing that sort of um, actually getting to the course and seeing it for the first time was that hill's tough, and that hill got uh, that like that real tough, and the the dirt was like it wasn't hard dirt it was like tacky almost. Clay. It yeah. Was like, yeah it was like so sort of sticky and yeah. you saw anyone who watched the the pro way uh pro race or, or any of the races really online on tv you saw the front of the race the, and those folks were rolling yeah but that hill did not we watched we rewatched it last night yeah and the coverage you, you you didn't get the sense of how hard that hill was at all. No. When they said it, they said it was upwards of seventeen percent. Yeah. At the steepest, but you had to you had to be on it just to really justify it. like. Well, and what if you didn't if you were watching online, you saw the front eight people probably right most of the race. Yeah. And if you then go to the folks that are more middle, and the folks that were at the back of the pack, there was people in their easiest gear. At their at probably fifty RPMs going up that thing, like yeah, it was a it, was, it nasty. was a nasty and it blew up. It blew sky high on first lap. Yeah, like in that and pretty much every race did, and it yep. blew sky high on that hill. So yeah, I expect the same thing to happen today, oh, sure. um, especially with the elite men. Mm -hmm. um, I tell you what, I'm surprised I'm not more horse cheering for Funston. <laughs> uh, funny story. Uh, <laughs> we get to the event. And there's a junior warming up and <laughs> ways off. He was a ways up. Yeah. And Brian's only goal was to find Scott Funston uh -huh. and tell him that my last name is also Funston. What are the odds? <laughs> and Brian starts screaming, Funston! This guy whips around. Yeah. Comes back and <laughs> Brian starts talking to him. He's like, um, I'm not Scott Funston. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. I was like, well, you certainly whipped around like you're Scott Bunston. He's like, no, I actually have racing tomorrow. I'm like, okay, well, good luck to you, sir. I'm going to be cheering you on, America. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, kind of looking forward to today. Well, first off, let's just talk briefly. The Belgians wiped the floor Belgian in the Dutch, U23 men's I mean, race. All day. And then it was the opposite in the uh, in the women's race. Yeah. That was a, a, the Voss brand thing. Like seeing that play out in person um it was kind of funny we only see like small sections of it like i was excited yeah. to come back and actually watch watch the race yeah because we just saw little bits of it yeah watch the race yeah uh but a very very tactical race yeah with them awesome. and played it perfectly yeah. she didn't make friends but no. she she played it pretty darn well um the speed that they were riding up at those two they actually the top four ladies I mean, they they yeah. were they were flying up that climb like they were making it look easy still late, and that was kind of the big difference that I saw in my mind watching it was like the top four to five people seemed like they just held speed throughout the race, whereas yeah. the the course sort of fatigued. If you did it, if you took it only based on the climb alone, the people who were the the top four to six mm -hmm. were going up the climb the same speed yeah. every lap. It seemed like it. Yeah. 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 So let's let's just talk briefly about today before this gets too long. Uh, we got to get there. Uh, Ten o'clock. Um, <laughs> the men's race, like that's something I know. I've been watching quite a bit of the Cyclocross World Cups. You know, Pidcock kind of came into it late uh, in the year. Iserbit was pretty yeah. much throughout the year has been strong. You got Tunerts who's been strong. Um, chatting with folks. Chatting with there was a cool Belgium dude that we were chatting with yesterday who's been living in uh, Florida um, for a while now. And I'm talking to him, and uh, as much of a fan as he is of, uh, of of the Belgians, his money was on Pitcock. Yeah, I think like watts per kilo up that climb, it's going to be hard to beat him mm -hmm. and Izzy. I mean, they they could they could stay together for a little bit, but I just think he's got 
he says he's not a big guy. No. And he's got a big engine. He's going to fly up. Yeah. I mean, he's just going to fly up that hill like it's not even there. And he's got the handling skills to so the technical. So I, I, I really hope to see him jump that jump at least once. Right. And I want to see a tail up. whip. <laughs> yeah. I've seen him tail whip before. Yeah. What we talked a little bit about it yesterday, and it was like the whole shot is going to be so important, yeah. you know, watching the course preview. And the spot we were that I spent most of the day watching, um, Alex and I, like we kind of stayed on the hill, but we could also see when they first started the downhill switchback section. Yeah. And by that point in the course, it was already not spread. even a mile. Like your first spread third out. of the course, and yeah. it was already gas. Yeah, because you go into that really narrow section, mm -hmm. and then you get that little like bump. Yeah. Where only maybe the first three or four are going to make it through clean. Yeah. And then everyone else has to like basically stop. Yeah. And so the whole shot is. It's Absolutely. Be, I mean, I think you can there. safely say anyone that's not in the top 10 is probably, not if the gas there. stays on, they're not going to be, you're not going to be riding across groups. It's not a, there's, like. it's going to string out so much. That, there's not anyone else that has like a Vanderpoel or Van Art uh, engine that can like come, yeah. come from 10, 15 places back and yeah. Uh, yeah. And if they do, they're burning some matches to get there. Like, it, you have to make it up on the hill, but everyone, the hill's so hard that everyone's, you can't really go easy on that climb. It's like, no. it's, it's going to be hard. It was, it was like, it was tricky to walk up. Yeah. Yeah. It was like muddy on the sides and stuff. Like, yeah. the sides of it, people were slipping. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a cool course, hard course, fast, flowy sections. Um, but I think it comes down to, to Watts per kilo. Yeah. I think we're both in the greens here then. I think Pitcock's gonna. I think Pitcock's the favorite. It. I think Iserbit has a. I think he has a strong chance too. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's those two that are gonna be battling. I'm a, I'm a two nerds fan, but he's just kind of a big guy for this course. He's a little big. Yeah. But we'll see. Maybe he's great at stairs. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the stair master. The stair master. He's been working on them glutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right i guess that's all we got for yeah, now we, we got to get there uh should be a fun day looking yeah. forward to it Peace. Peace.